Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing really good. Welcome back to our YouTube channel Dental Mnemonic where learning is always smart and fun. As promised, today again we are doing something a little bit different. So get ready for a basic beginner level dentistry quiz from A to Z. So you might be confused, so before I start here I will be explaining the rules of the games. So here are how things work. So like each answer corresponds to a letter from A to Z of the English alphabet. You get 3 seconds to answer each question and as you can see in the screen, questions will be divided into 5 groups. Each group will have 5 questions and the last group will have 6 questions. So each correct answer corresponds to 1 point. So the maximum score you can fetch is 26 points. So if you score 22 or above, then you are a true all-rounder dentist or a really good dentist in the making. So what are we waiting for? Grab your notebook, stay sharp, and let's begin our quiz. So the first group, the question starting from A to E. So what A is a silver colored peeling material commonly used in dentistry? I hope you have noted your answer. So let's go for the next question. What B is the hard tissue that forms the bulk of the tooth under the enamel? Let's go for the next question. What C is the most common cause of tooth decay in both children and adults? Coming to D. What D is the tissue that makes up the core of the tooth and contains nerve and blood vessels? And final question of this group. What E is the hard outer surface of the tooth? I hope all of you have noted your answer from A to E. So let's check if you got it right or wrong. So the answers of this group was A belong to amalgam, B stood for bone, C was for caries, D for dentin, and E for enamel. So I hope you have understood how this game works. So without ado, let's go to our next group that is questions from F to Z. Question number 1. What F is the soft material used to restore cavities in children, especially primary teeth? I hope you have not the answer. So what Z do we call the soft tissue that surrounds the base of the teeth? Coming to H. What oral condition starting from H results from the overgrowth of the gums often linked to medication or poor hygiene? Coming to I. What I is the common term for inflammation around a dental implant? Finally coming to J. What J is the part of the skull that supports the lower teeth? So let's check with the answers. The F was for Fisocyland, G was for Gingiva or some pronounce it as Gingiva, H was for Hyperplasia, I for Implantitis and J for Jawbone. So let's go to the third group. So what K do we call thick white patches inside the mouth that can't be scraped off sometimes related to smoking? What L is the type of radiograph which is commonly used to view a full arch of teeth? What M is the term for misalignment or incorrect relation between the teeth? If I'm going really fast, you can also pause the video and note your answers. What N is the name of the removable dental device which is worn at night to prevent teeth grinding? And finally, what O is the branch of dentistry that deals with correcting misaligned teeth? So let's see how many questions you got right. So the answers from this group was K was for keratosis, L was for lateral cephalogram, M for malocclusion, N for night guard, and O for orthodontics. So let's go to group 4 that is from P to T. What P is the condition where the gum becomes inflamed and starts to bleed? 
What Q is the dental term for the act of checking a patient's condition by asking questions? What R is the treatment called when the pulp is removed and the canals are clean? What S is a bacteria which is primarily responsible for forming the sticky film or dental plaques on teeth? Finally, the final question of this group. What T is the joint that connects the jawbone or mandible to the skull? I hope you have not all of your answers, so let's check with the answers. P was for periodontitis, Q was for questionnaire, R was for root canal therapy or root canal treatment, which is abbreviated as RCT, S was for streptococcus mutans, and T was for TMJ or temporomandibular joint. I hope you are enjoying this game, so let's go to the final group. So the final group, remember this has six questions. So let's start questions starting from U. What U is a painful lesion in the mouth which is often round, white and surrounded by red inflammation? What V is a thin covering which can be placed over the front of teeth for cosmetic purposes? What W is a small rough growth on the lip or oral mucosa which may be caused by a virus? What X is the tool used in dental clinics to visualize the internal structure of teeth and bones? Penultimate question of our quiz. Which chromosome starting with Y is referenced in forensic odontology to identify male DNA from female on teeth or saliva samples? And the final question for today. What G is the element in some dental materials which provides strength and antibacterial properties? So are you ready to reveal the suspense of the answers of this group? So here we go. The U was for ulcer, B was for veneer, W was for what, X was for x-ray, Y was for Y chromosome, and Z was for zinc. So alright, time to total your score. How many points did you get out of the total 26? If you scored 22 or more, you are a true dental champion ready to rock the world of dentistry. Comment your score below, I would love to see how you all did. So if you enjoyed this kind of fun and smart way to learn, then don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button because soon we will be dropping with the intermediate level A to Z dental quiz. Thanks for playing and remember, learning dentistry can be smart, fun and unforgettable. See you next time. Goodbye.